What's good everyone, this is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth, giving you the raw content that you deserve really need. And man, this was, <laughs> yesterday was pretty interesting. This video will be about Shadur Sanders' motivation and Coach Prime's message to the team. I truly believe this message is what started the desire in the fire to win this game. Now, like on the other video, I gave props to uh, T.C. Taylor, Coach T.C. Taylor, for really letting it be known that he's the next, one of the next great young uh, offensive coordinators. I'm sure when the season goes on, a lot of teams will be vying for his services, if I'm Jackson State, I'll find a way to keep him. He played at Jackson State. He's respected at JSU. He's respected in the SWAC. Uh, I would like to see that happen. It could happen. That would be another video I'll break down. But back to this topic. Shadir Sanders has done some good things, man. Some really good things. Matter of fact, he's done great things. I know some people don't want to hear it, but that's the truth. He's broke a lot of freshman records. Touchdown records, passing records, efficiency records. He's completing 72% of his passes. And this is with a bad O-line. Now the O-line this weekend played well. I don't know if it's because it's Alabama A&M and they couldn't even stop a nosebleed or the fact that they finally played aggressive. You can have all the play calling you want, but if your players don't play physical, it, it's a long night for a quarterback. Ask Akil Glass. Akil Glass was fighting for his life last night. The fact that he didn't throw an interception is impressive. Shadir Sanders has heard all the smoke. He has heard all uh, the the diss and um, the doubt. All because he's a confident quarterback who believes his team has what it takes to exceed the playing field. Something that we want all HBCUs to do. But that's our problem. Since it's not our favorite team, no matter who you root for, you want to down a brother. And I'm not here to say that Jackson State does everything perfect or their offensive schemes are perfect. None of that. Because even though they won this game, I could put, point out some weaknesses. For example, the DBs are good, but there's probably one or two DBs who are not the best cover guys. But you'd rather take that than not have any uh, solidified defensive backs. This team has really been through the fire. Been challenged. Before the season, I predicted this team to go 10-2. Now, a lot of folks said undefeated. I would love for that to happen. I, but when it comes to team building, here's a common sense approach to it. It takes a couple of recruiting classes to have an undefeated season. I don't know why people thought that that was, you know, going to happen. It could have happened. Jackson State could have beaten ULM. And I'm sure if they would have used this offensive play calling from Coach T.C. Taylor, that would have happened. Shit, if uh, James Houston didn't get ejected, I don't think ULM would have had four field goals. 
but I like the trajectory of this team. Here's a clip of Shadir Sanders letting the world know how he feels, as well as Coach Prime letting the fire to his team that led to the 61-15 score. Dom, hey, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, I love it boy, oh my god, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, I love it, good shit boy, say, oh my god. Good stuff, boy. Oh, that's your break time. How you feel? Easy work, easy work, easy work. Easy work. Easy work. Easy work. I said, ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, is it? Yeah. <laughs> and then y'all know his scooter quote, right, this week? Yeah. yeah. We left one out there for us. Y'all hit the music and have a good time. Walk your trap and take off your trap. 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 Walk your trap and take off